had a high level concept uh, to use lar uh, large scale industrial process, aluminum smelting, as an inspiration for uh, creating a new technology uh, to store electricity on a massive scale. And so we uh, proceeded to, to develop that idea and in 2009 received uh, significant funding from ARPA-E as well as the private sector, Total. So it enabled us to bring in new corporate funding through uh, Bill Gates, Total and Coastal Ventures uh, because they got the excitement of what this could be, a very unique way to approach uh, the whole issue of storing electricity for the grid. So Ambry's technology is uh, large-scale stationary energy storage for the electricity grid to support the intermittency of renewable, uh, renewable resources like wind and solar, and smoothing out their power to uh, align supply and demand. Right now, when you consume electricity, you have to produce exactly that amount of electricity and have all of the infrastructure to deliver it. Our electricity batteries can take all of it when it's available, store it, and then put it back when it's actually usable and when it's necessary. And that's just a gigantic breakthrough. We can use low-cost materials, very easy to assemble, and the battery should last for a very, very long time. The capacity uh, one cycle after the other is almost identical. It has effectively no fade rate over more than a thousand cycles and projected to be thousands and thousands of cycles, potentially giving a rise to technology that could last for decades. So I've been 38 years in the energy industries and I see the whole spectrum, the private sector roles, the public sector roles, and the needs to bring this, all of these interests and, and uh, capabilities as well aligned as possible. ARPA-E funded MIT research and that was critical to creating the credibility to the concept and, and making it demonstrable so that we could then raise the private capital and now we can grow a company and hopefully deliver a phenomenal solution for the world.